No, so that's what's up, man. So now you you working as a developer in in a startup. How is that different from where you at now? Um, to compare to how it was before. So at the startup, I I really love it there, and um, and it's it's been a really good experience so far. It's been one of those things in my life that um that has worked out exactly how I planned. I feel like things almost never happen like that. Like you, you expect something to be a certain way and then it happens to be a different way, even if it's for the better or for the worse. Um, but in this company, like at least so far, I've been there since um, about four months now, three or four months, I, I don't even know. Um, but so far it has been exactly every, everything I thought it would be. And um, and the reason why I switched to the, um, to the startup and left the other company was because somebody that I met at uh, the first company and you know when he was a great mentor and then af after he left about six months after he came back um, he came back to me he, he messaged me and, and we went out and and, um, and we talked about things and he asked me if I wanted to work for his uh, for his company and that was a startup and he told me you know he told me the experiences that he had working for a startup at the beginning of his career um, he had mentioned those things to me even before then when we were just friends working at the same place before um, and he tells me there's a lot of opportunity to instead of like just being a small less than one percent of the development um, force of a company all of a sudden you go to a small company that only has four or five developers all of a sudden you're 25 percent of the development force so it's a lot more responsibility but you also get to learn a lot more and and that's why i switched because i wanted the opportunity to um to learn more things and to learn how to build a you know small well not a small company but build a company and start start small and, and build it up to be a, a big thing with a small team of people instead of working with seven eight hundred other developers and um, and I just find that amazing the fact that companies can make things with a with a small amount of people with four or five developers and you know and still be a um, develop a nice product and I just wanted to see how that happened I already seen the corporate side and I wanted to see you know what it or, or everything that I could learn taking all this new responsibility and things like that and um, and I also think it was the main reason why I got into development was because and the reason why I took that chance uh, that I talked to you guys um, at the beginning of this about how I was only making 200 bucks a week because I was only working on the weekends and the and dedicated all my weekly time um, to being a developer or learning um, development the main reason for that was be that I took that chance or the thing that made me go like yes I'm just gonna do a screw everything I'm just gonna do this and this is gonna work out and I'm gonna put all my eggs into this one basket was because besides the fact that I did a lot of research and um, and so people like um, like Co like Joe from Coding Face um, saying that um, that it is possible you know it's not like a it's not like I'm something that's almost nobody gets it. It's, it's one I researched and I found out that um, if you put in the work people need developers so there there's no way that you're gonna have all the skills needed to be a developer and be like and not be able to get a job if that's what you wanted so that was one of the reasons but the main main reason was I wanted to learn how to create stuff I wanted to build I wanted to have the ability that if I think of an idea, I can actually make an app for that idea. I can actually make a product. Just the fact of the ability of creating stuff from nothing, I just find that amazing. And that was, you know, that was what I, when I took that decision, that was the thing that made me go like, okay, even if I don't get a job and nobody wants to hire me because I don't have a degree, screw that. I'm still going to be so knowledgeable that I'm gonna be able to make my own things and I was gonna be able to create income for myself. So the fact that I always have the mentality about I wanna learn how to create stuff, um, that aligned a lot better working for the startup because you know, there I'm learning how to create stuff with a small team of people rather than just doing small stuff for a big, big company um, where I'm only a small percentage of their development force. And and I want and 
obviously the process is totally different. Building something from scratch at a small company is totally different than working at a big corporation where you're just modifying the stuff that they already have. Now, as far as web development, I mean, now we went into how you got into this, then we went into how you became a developer, then we went into how it was for this company and now your new startup that you're working for. Where do you see yourself five years from now? Five years from now? Um, I don't know exactly what the future is going to hold. Um, if you would have asked me that question when I, before I got my first development job, when I was just training, I would have told you a year from now I'm gonna I'm probably gonna be working at a company as a developer. But now that I am actually a developer, five years from now, and I'm working at a startup, I don't know exactly what the future is gonna is gonna hold. Um, I do think the startup that I work at has a nice chance of um, of making it. So. Um, I think there's there's a good chance that I'd be there for for a long time. Now, five years from now, I don't know. I'm just kind of playing it by ear. Um, I'm working on my side projects. Obviously, the dream of anybody that has a side project is that that side project is so successful to the point that you can um, quit your main job and just focus on that. So that would be the ideal. But um, but I also wouldn't be mad if um, if this startup were to take off because if it was to take off with me being one of the first people there obviously I would have a much higher opposition and, and things like that. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. So what do you think about Coding Face? I mean now that you're here and you know you got to meet me in, perf in person. I mean some people you know they <laughs> they see me online and they don't even know who the hell is Joe. I mean so far you you freaking you came, you chilled, you ate with us, you hang out with the family my yeah. son loves you, like, what do you think about Codeface? And not even Codeface, just Joe in general, like, what I'm doing here, I mean. Uh, yeah. What you think about, I mean, what's your first impression now that you, you actually came here? Man, it just feels like family, honestly. And, and I know everybody says that, but, it, like, it actually does. Like, um, when I first started watching your videos, like, your accent is not as strong as mine. So, and, and I know you mentioned that you were from New York and things like that, but I didn't know if you were, like, you know, I know you would probably like, you probably have like Caribbean descendants, but I don't know if they could be Puerto Rican or or Cuban or anything. They don't necessarily have to be Dominican. Um, so I knew that maybe you have like Latino descendants and things like that. But then the fact like I, then I, eventually I found out that you were Dominican too. I'm like, oh crap! Like he's Dominican too. And now it's like I don't know. Like now that I came, I feel like the fact that we have similar interests, obviously, and the fact that I started watching your channel since the beginning, like, just because I liked and I, and I liked the information. Um, but then after that, it's like, I found out that we have a lot more other things in common, and, and, and that's nice. Yeah. And it really feels like family, so that's, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, you know, I, I asked you this question just because probably somebody that might be watching the channel and might see, you know, they probably yeah. think, hey, this is a character, this is... Some guy from YouTube did this and that, yeah. you know, like people don't know you and then when they get to meet you in, in real life and it's like, yo, I'm actually a, a cool dude, I'm just a family guy, yep. you know, and like, I'm just trying to do a lot of positive things out here and as you can see, like, we out here, we're working, we, you know, I really want to say thank you to Omar for coming here and helping me out and as you guys can see, there's still a, a lot of things uh, on the floor, we building things, right, like we doing this. You know, hand to hand, like we freaking doing this from the ground up, you know, or by ourselves. Like none of this stuff is like profitable. Like we're not making. Yeah. Money and I think that's that's actually, I think, I think that's actually the main biggest surprising thing. It's like the like, even though like I've been watching your video for a while, and even though I didn't like know you in person, like, you know, I still can kind of tell that you're like not really in here like just to get like a buck out of people. That you actually just want to help the community and things like that. But it doesn't really, it didn't really hit me that hard, like, until, like, now. Like, you literally have this whole space, like, you are literally paying, like, you are paying rent on office space, and you are making a single dollar out of it. Like, I never met anybody my whole life, obviously, that, like, and probably most people haven't, that invest into office space when they don't even have a profitable business, like... Like, you're not charging anybody to come in here. Like, you, like we went out shopping yesterday. 
spend like thousands of dollars buying like you know chairs tables uh, you got a projector already here like such a big investment and you're not even making any profit like that's you know that's crazy like I'm sorry like that's crazy like yeah. I would I, I always thought like like before like when I f see that you first got the place and things like there's gonna be a master plan like he has to have some he has to have a master plan on how he's gonna make money of this and like I come here and you're just like no bro like <laughs> like we just here like basically like the money that you make of stuff you just like giving it right back and it's like <laughs> damn like yeah man look and, and you know what's crazy you know when in the beginning when I was doing the um you know like the my YouTube channel right and yeah. I would tell people hey man come in go check out uh coding face uh, not coding face .com, but um the, the course is on the description, right? Yeah. For six months, all of those courses, I didn't even have an affiliate link. I didn't have nothing. Yeah. And then I would give people $300 up to $300. That was my budget. I said, I'm going to spend $300 a month on buying courses for people online for free and just give it out. Yeah. And in reality, what I want is to make a difference. You see how you, you know, you're Dominican, I'm Dominican. In reality, in the industry, there's not that many people like us, right? Yeah. So it's like if... If nobody comes here and says, hey, guys, you know, it doesn't matter if it's women, it doesn't matter if it's uh, Latinos, blacks, or, uh, you know, Asians, Indians, or freaking, uh, you know, Caucasians who are living in poverty. People, yeah. everybody's in poverty. You know, it's, you know, it's a, at least 65, 70% of the United States live in what the United States call poverty line. Right? So in reality, if I can come here and give them another option, yeah. instead of saying, you know, when I was like 18 years old, like I remember my friends from high school were like, bro, they're hiring at FedEx. Like, that's not a place yeah. to go to. That's all my friends, like a lot of them, not all of them, but like the big majority of my friends, that's, that's, yeah, that's, we'll that's, like, well, know, that's what they talk friends, about. Like, Yo, this, this higher than FedEx, man. I'm gonna go get my CDL. Oh license. man, they're paying 15 an hour, bro. Oh, bro. Like, you you make it back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, and I'm like, people don't even know the opportunities that that's out there. And that was me too, by the way. But yeah, yeah. and me too. That's yeah. how I was. I was like, holy shoot. But then now that I'm here and I'm in a better position, I, I'm not a millionaire. I'm not rich. I'm just comfortable. Now that I'm at this position, I'm like, more people could be comfortable. Instead yeah. of having to be worrying about, you know, paycheck or peck check, you know, like, oh my God, I got to pay my bills or how you was. I was in the same situation where it's like, man, if I spend this, I'm not even going to have, for me, it was going to school. So if I spend a certain amount of money or I go out to uh, movies or to uh, uh, to drink or whatever, yeah. I don't have money to go to school or on the bus. You know what I mean? So it's like, you got to manage yourself, yeah. right? So if like if I'm in a position where I could actually show to people how coding actually affected my life and actually was for the better, and I can do that, you yeah. know, this is what I want to do. You know what I mean? Because in the long term, it pays off. I feel like it pays off. You know, it's like tomorrow. I don't know where you're gonna be. Like I, I, I affected you some type of way in a positive way, right? I don't know if tomorrow you might be CTO in a company in Cincinnati. Sometimes. I might move over there, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then now, you're the CTO. Now you see me out there, oh shoot, Joe, what up, boom. Now you hire me, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, that's how life is, you know what I mean? When you do something positive, later on, it pays you back and you don't even know it, right? Yeah. So, same thing as here, I just want to build a community for people to come here and actually, and you know, get to meet other developers and network. You never know who's gonna get anywhere and be like, okay, this person works here. Hey, they're hiring here too. Let me bring you in. I know yeah. this developer. You know how you told me that in your company they were asking you like, oh, do you know anybody? We'll even give you $3,000. Yeah. Now, if you they have- They like that. Like, yeah, like you have a network, now you can refer somebody to it. Yeah. You know, so that's all I'm trying to do out here, man. But yeah, man, I really appreciate that you came through, man. and. I hope people love this this interview with your boy uh, Omar. Finally, we got him out here. Uh, the next time, uh, I'll probably he also he also convinced me <laughs> to invest more in my YouTube channel because yeah, for me, it's just kind of like I honestly haven't paid much attention to it. Like as most of you guys know, like I release a video like what like maybe once a month, sometimes longer than that, and it's just like I like I'm obviously I'm not making any money off of it like whatsoever like. Any time that I put into it, it's just like to help other people, if anything. But um, 
but he con convinced me to, you know, to actually get my my stuff more in place and I actually just made a big investment <laughs> financially so I better stick to it now. Um Your boy got a camera, got the mic. <laughs> he out here kids. You know what I mean? So yeah. Be on the lookout for that. I'm gonna put the link in the description for Omar's channel. I'm also gonna put it in the comment section. I'm gonna pin it so you guys can definitely check out his channel. And yeah man you already know see your boy Joe back at it again codingphase.com. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.